Oh, well, another day, another beer treasure from this year's BrewTubers get together in Chicago. So this one is not from Chicago. It's from Can Canada, eh? Canada. Uh, it is from Silversmith Brewing Company. It's the black lager. I like black lagers. We'll say the black lagers. And you might think I got it from Change Craft Beer Review, but nope. I got it from the Alkanauts, Ray and Paul. So let's uh, crack this open and see what Silversmith does behind the black curtain. On a hot July weekend, Chicago, Illinois. Just sitting around drinking with all of my beer review boys. Got them perfectly me crafts and Brian the beer snob. Nutmeg to palmetto and the Algonauts. And how can I forget the man, the legend, blue ice? Just met him yesterday and man that cool cat is nice. You live. Gonna visit some breweries, which ones I don't know. But I'm sure that we're gonna shoot some epic videos. Drinking it up at the beer viewers get together. Such a great old time. Don't drink our beer with lime Drinking it up at the beer reviewers get together Such a lovely place We're all gonna get shit-faced <laughs> Alright, 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 welcome back to the Midlands Front Porch A blue ice special as I like to call them, the Front Porch Reviews uh, as you'll notice, I own my iPad because I'm a dummy and I didn't charge it. <laughs> so, but fortunately, there actually is a nice little bio on there. Uh, and it's in English, not in French. <laughs> so I'll be able to read it. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff on the can. So in the interest of time, as Shane Crash, Shane's Crash Beer Review likes to remind me, we will pop and pour and then I'll read it to you. I didn't give you the ASMR on that, I apologize, but I will give you some ASMR on the pour. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh. Oh, 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 did I overdo it? I think we're safe. Now I am outside. It's been, this week in particular, when I'm recording this, it's uh, first week of November. And it's been really, really cold, but today got up to 65, so it is nice and cozy warm out. And this is uh, extremely dark. Now, a lot of it is black loggers. You can still get some light through it, but there is zero light. Hold up to the sun. I, I mean, I can see the sun in there just because, you know, it's the sun, uh, but it's it's barely in there. It's the little itty bitty red dot. So, I mean, that is as dark as the darkest dark loggers that I've seen. Let that head settle down. I mean, that's well over four fingers and one fat thumb, as Big B Beer Review says. Schwarzbeer, the black lager from Silversmith. Uh, I don't know if this is a Canadian strong beer because it is right at 5% on the nose. I think strong beer has to be over 5%. Uh, refund where applicable. I'm guessing that just means for the can. Uh, oh, the IBUs are listed. Canada likes to give all their information. That is 28, so that's an extremely low number. Independently craft beer in Canada. Dark and crisp. Pours an opaque dark brown color uh, with a creamy tan head. I'd say that's accurate. That's uh, fairly tan. It's not, I uh, wouldn't say that's a white head, but it is very, very foamy on top. Um balanced flavors of toasted malt, chocolate, and coffee. Medium bodied on the palate with a crisp and clean finish. They are, ooh, uh, Ray and Paul, you'll have to excuse me if I butcher the pronunciation of the town this place is in. Edo Bukoki? Edo Bukoke? Uh, and uh, funky Canadian zip code. It is an Ontario M8Z4X5. Uh, there's a QR code, which obviously, like, 
I say with Brian the Beer Snob, we're beer reviewers. A lot of us use our camera, our phones as cameras. What am I gonna do with that? <laughs> Ingredients, wa water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, and yeast contains barley and yeast, and of course, all that written in French as well. Uh, I'm guessing this logo is just a silversmith. Um, because it, it seems, it's a very cool logo, but and it kind of seems like a church stained glass kind of design, but I, it, it doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the name or the style, so I'm guessing that's probably just the brewery's logo. In any event, it's a very nice logo. Full disclosure, I have had this before. I did have it in Chicago for the get-together, although it wasn't, it, it wasn't super cold yet. So uh, I, I'm excited to see what this tastes like uh, with a little bit of cooling down in the fridge for now a few months at this point, I guess. So it smells very clean. I will say that. Very, a little bit subtle, noticeable. I mean, it's not like, I'm not really digging too hard to pick it out, but it's definitely super subtle. But it's, it, the, the main prominent aroma for me is clean. Clean, 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 clean. Doesn't taste, doesn't have this like over, over Marley, uh, Marley, <laughs> Barley, <laughs> over malty type of aroma. I swear, I haven't had a beer today yet. So let's dive in, shall we? Dig through that head, it's settled in at four fingers. That's small enough to, to go through and maybe give myself a foam stash. I'm definitely glad I got uh, an extra one of these to have cold. Although I've had it out, uh, out of the fridge for a few minutes now, plus running around doing the video setup and that sort of thing. So it's, it's come down to a little bit more room temperature, but it's still pretty cold. Mm. Yeah, third sip for good measure. Uh, that's... It does have a bit, the, the chocolate notes do come through in the flavor. I didn't really smell chocolate on the, on the nose, but the flavor definitely comes, chocolate comes through. Uh, it has a bit of that roasty malt kind of flavor. Uh, crisp, yeah, but it's more so clean than crisp. It is a very clean flavor despite the chocolate notes, despite all the maltiness. Uh, it, does, it still tastes very, very clean. Yeah, I'd say that's a crusher. Well, cheers and thanks to the Alkanauts, Ray and Paul. If you're not subscribed to them, what are you doing? Go subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next year up in your neck of the woods for the next beer reviewers get together. Cheers, folks. I'll see you next time. That's open for hey. Hello, YouTube. My name's Shane. Shane's Craft Beer Review, and uh, he's a sexy bitch. I tip him five bucks. Ooh. That guy is sure fucking tired Under the covers where he lays He's been up drinking for days I know I'm just making this shit up as I go along I wanna know what the fuck does you look like in the morning? I wanna know Does you prefer coffee or beer? Yeah, you get the idea. We might not find out until next year. And that's all you're getting right now, Chase.